Right, today's project is the How Joyful Bear. If you go onto the site of Joy Kelly, it's a free download, How Joy, www.howjoyfulblog.com. You will find terms of use, instructions, and um, it explains to you if you want to sell these product bears, what you have to do. She only has written instructions. This is the downloaded pattern. Once you cut them out, then cut your fabric out. But please read her instructions first because it does explain how or why she does it and uh, she adds a quarter of an inch after if you want to draw your quarter of an inch on each pattern and then you've only got the one pattern to cut out but she actually adds it um, I haven't added it onto mine um, I'm only doing it in fleece it's the only fleece I've got she does double uh, two colours uh, she does a blue, blue and cream I believe and a pink and cream uh, anyway, we're starting with the ears. There's one I've already done. Please use the walking foot, and this is the second one. They're clearly a marked ear, cut for two in reverse. Obviously, this is fleece, I'm not worried about right and wrong sides, but some obviously fabrics you will have to think about that. Pin or clip them together, use your walking fit, foot. Let's see how we get on. So it's all the way around on the ears, right from one side all the way around to the other and then we turn it through. So obviously now we've done this, I will probably get the pink and shears and clip round there and then turn it through. together keep them there and so that's the ears sewn I'm going to pink them around the edge to make them easier to turn So for this bit you will need side head, that's A1 to A2. So if you can see there it says front head and it's got A2 so obviously they go together like that. A2 joins up with A2, B with B, A with A. So you can always double check that you've got the right piece of pattern if you're not sure. Um, and this is how she wants some, you've just done the ear, so basically if you're sewing right sides together then that would be obviously that way, but because she wants this ear to be sewn at the same time, like so, then obviously then you pick that's got to be under, so it's ear, under, and then this together. So basically you're making a sandwich. So it's the forehead on top, then this this way, remember this shape, and then in between you want your ear with the raw red facing to the sewing edge. And obviously it only goes I should imagine about three as it doesn't actually say but the picture on the on the internet looks like this so basically that's how she's got it on the internet and then obviously we sew a quarter of an inch down this side and it'll be the same for the other ear Pin or clip together. So you just got to catch this the up. So we just got to sew down there, and that's what it should look like. 
so obviously that section is very thick if you're using fleece this is why you use your walking foot um, it's down according to the picture it's down there's no instructions on how far down but according to the picture it looks like three quarters of an inch down so So that's what your first one should look like and obviously now we've got to do the other one this side so if you put your there you go so if you put this the same shape and then turn that over get your other ear face this the same way which is inwards and underneath like <coughs> so about three quarters of an inch down and when that's turned over that then will be facing that way which is the right way to face the raw edge so that's the way we want it we want to make another sandwich about three quarters of an inch down and we'll put this on top and then flip that together i'm going to turn it over and sew it that way i want to start where the ear is to make sure that the head together at the top stays straight and it's all in right so you should have that and that is exactly what she's got that's the forehead that's the side of the head side of the head and the ears right let's see where we go next right the next bit we're sewing is the mouth if you look on your sided pattern you'll see in that corner it says C if you look on your mouth pattern you'll see in the corner C and obviously they fit together there obviously whichever that as this side is reversed to that side then that c and that c so therefore them two c's go on there now it's got to fit like that but obviously we can't sew it like that we have to sew by turning it right sides together and making it fit around that way and around that way this is where you'll need plenty of pins find the center of your mouth and then clip just like i've done there find the center not your head of this small section by putting your seams together obviously then that if you clip there that will be your center so we've got three points that we clip uh, pin first is that one and the two ends and then we fit everything else in between so once you have your three points pinned which will be the center and your two ends which is c and c together then obviously then if you pick it up like that so you've got right sides together then you should be able to if you very gently help to ease it all in and help it make it fit hopefully it should be the same size so put as little or as many pins as possible you might have to take them out and put them in again to try and ease everything in but what you don't want to do is make creases or pleats so again start this side right sides together with all your points already pinned your major points it all in together I don't think there's a right way and wrong way which way the seams lay I think it's wherever they want to go to be honest you're not going to see any, any of that and they're not net I don't think they're fighting with any other seam so 
Right, as you can see, I have now very successfully made that ease all in. If you're not happy with somewhere, take it out, let the fabric move a bit. And it'll get it, it'll sit where it wants to sit. Hopefully, it'll be sitting in the right place. Now, what you do is sew a quarter of an inch all the way around. See a pleat come in, lift your foot, straighten it out. Manipulate your fabric to get your round, flatten it and pull it. Hopefully we've got no pleats and everything it's got in spot on. There you go. As you can see it's now starting to represent a teddy bear. Right, the next thing we want to do is sew the mouth together. So that's the front. Fold it over. You've already got where it connects there, your B. Just put it all the way around pin so nothing moves and then you don't have to worry about it or think about it it's pinned and then your seam should match up so I would put one seam down and one seam up if possible try and get the seams to match as best you can so put as many pins as you can in this section to keep them seams together. Then so, obviously what you want to do is just get to where your stitches are, this side, and then stop. And it's a quarter of an inch all the way around because this back bit is your head. I would start at the mouth, put your needle right in where your stitches were, are and then you know you can't go wrong if you're starting from the exactly from the stitches itself. there you go that's what you've got so far so put that to one side for the moment take off take your back head let's cut two and one in reverse um, put right sides together which is and if you look at the shape you've got letters again G and H a, A1 and E. So obviously this goes this way for the A to go next to the A's up here. So therefore G and H is the centre of the back of the head which is here because they will go to the front. So this is the back. So whatever the shape it is. So sure of not doing so obviously you get your both of your shapes to do the same thing or reverse of it so we'll put them on top of each other it's reverse so then I just move it obviously I don't want to sew them together that way so and then obviously it goes that way 
all the way around to that one. So right sides together, start at one point. You can always check this with pinning. Pin the end, that point there. And then it should nestle easily between the two. So let's just put a few more pins in. And then if you open it to the right side, that's obviously the back of the head. Like that. So you know you've got it right, you've got a straight line across the top. That, that goes into a V, which then that goes into a V. So that's just where you want them to go. Quarter an inch seam. See, then that is the back of the right take the front the face of your teddy and fold it we need to find the center of the forehead so put the seams together side by side making sure that your seams match there and then hold that and just very, just take a little tiny bit off and then you found the center of your head just there look then you need to put this seam you're going to do right sides together from the back to the front this seam then needs to go on that center you can either hold you can Press your seam open there if it's easier. And just pin that together to make that secure. You found the centre, you don't want it to move. So that's that. Then you need to bring your ear that side. And then down let me just check so recap put your ear that way then take the ear and fold it that way so it's going across this way so do that again there's the ear and then bring it down and then pin it into place don't pull the seams no need to pull it over like that just make sure that when you pull it down it's just very gently resting on that edge pin it together to keep it in place So that's what you should have. The other side is again against your forehead. Bring the top down very gently. Don't pull it, just bring it down till it's nice flat against the top. Pin it into place. So basically you've got both ears being made to go on the inside and pinned. The shape of the bear, this is the top, there's your ears just underneath there, already been pinned down. This is the centre. You shape, you've got points here that they want to go on top of where that seam is, where the ear is joined, as best you can. 
it should without stretching be the right amount and if you pin it's very thick when you've got ears so this is why you need a walking foot and obviously then this goes so this goes that way that point goes to that point there and then that fits push your ears out the way you don't want to be sewing them in just there again this side that point goes to that to the ear seam where the ear was joined and it goes down that side once you've got that in the right place then go back push your ear out the way and very gently ease that section in there So basically, middle seam, which you've manipulated your ears to go the way you want and pin them down. Then pin this, this is the back of the head, in, and sandwich your three pieces together. Just there. This seam should be roughly at the same place as where your ear was joined and then the same this side and if you continue to play go to this end now put them corners together And then it should ease in. You should have the right amount of fabric left for it to ease in around that corner, around the, co the sides. Do the same this side, start at the end, then point should, that point is H, and obviously the top is this corner is G. So you've got G to G and H to H. And then pin them all the way around. And that's what you should have. Okay. So I'm starting from the letter H, which is at the bottom at the back of the head, quarter of an inch seam, and backwards and forwards. If you've got cotton, it shouldn't be too bad. And turn it over. That's just caught there, lot. But I'm quite happy with that because it's eighth of an inch on that bit. <coughs> I'm not happy with that bit because it's uh, hardly anything there at all. So obviously, then the underneath must right. have moved. Right. Once you've checked it, made sure that you've caught all your seam allowance in, and everything looks good. That's what you've got so far. So the next section is the belly. I think we've done the most difficult bit and that's the head. So that's the one side and if you turn over the reverse side that's the other side. So therefore it's the centre seam that you're after sewing together. You do you pin the bottom together first, that's one point. And 
and the top which is the other point and then everything in the middle should ease together as you can see they do so that should make it easier to sew in just pull them over and pin in a couple of places you don't want it to move so pins will keep it stable and then you quarter of an inch will down that and on the right side that's what you should have that's obviously a sticky out belly that's where it attaches to the neck or the head and this is his arms either side the next two sections we need are the arm front hand arm front again you should add two pieces and as you can see you've got a P and an O on this one and a P and an O obviously then they connect together like that or right sides together that way so you're connecting the hand to the arm so you should be able to take them two off obviously that's a different shape so be careful of that if you've got a right and a wrong side you've got to put right sides together it's very difficult when uh, so we see they've got them two that way and them two that way so that goes that way like so that goes that way like so and then so that one and that one go that way so they go together and they go together so pin and then sew a quarter of an inch obviously if you've got pattern fabric then um, you'll be able to make your life easier because you'll know which side is wrong and which side is right but uh, with me having fleece I'm not bothered which side because mine should look okay again pin corner to corner let the middle fall together and just ease it together like so and then pin both of those quarter of an inch so both of those should say and then obviously my other one is on the outside that way no i don't think i've got mine wrong do you see where i've got them? So as you can see, now I've repinned it going the opposite way, it actually curves up the same as that one that side. So I've got a right handed that goes that way and left handed bear, left hand and an arm for the bear. So now I've got it the right way around. So obviously yours would be easy if you've got a proper reverse, but with fleece I haven't and it's sheer guess That's what it should look like when they've finished, they should be curving in. So you've got the arms going up, the hands going up. So on this next bit you're attaching the leg top to the leg top foot or feet and we do exactly the same way as we did with the arms. Put them both together the same either way, make sure that the fabric pieces are going the right way. Okay, keep turning and turning to you if you haven't left them the same right that one is that one is for some reason that's just a little bit short there but that's fine and that way so what you do then that's the way they should be you want to reverse engineer one so turn that one over that way that one over that way and then you sew that to that and that to that and then you should be reversed Pin. So once you've pinned the 
top to the bottom on both sides, one the right way, one reversed, like so, as you can see, two pointy ends are on the outside. Sew together across at a quarter of an inch seam. Should have one with the point up this side, one with the point up that side. Now I don't know yet which is that way or that way, but it looks right that way. We'll find that out when you come to sew them onto the top. So we're now going to concentrate on putting the arm and the legs on. If you keep your pattern patterns handy, you can see that if you place that back on arm front and arm um, front hand is the way you sew these two together then you'll have P and P and O and O so you know they're right sewn together up here you'll have E and N if you get your belly and put it back on the pattern this way on the front uh, then you'll know that you've got E and N here so therefore this E and N goes to E and N there so take those off and move that over that way. Obviously pin both ends and then everything else then should ease in. And then all the center should ease in on itself. It's an awkward shape, so you'll have to probably have to mess with it a little while just to make sure it all eases in. And it must fit us that's because that's the size of the pattern. and it did ease in look so I'll sew that on a quarter of an inch should be the right way up going up obviously that the arm sits there and it's going to have another piece of the arm the other side so that's the inside of the arm so once you put the arms on as long as you've reversed, reversed the first arm it should go on exactly the same right sides together and it should curve up both sides so again now we're going to do the leg to the belly leg to the belly this is the way this side and it's got s and l so let's just put that this side and reverse and be near that that way and i've got l and s so therefore it looks like it should be that the pointy side is on the inside and that makes sense with how they sit there on the bottom of the belly so if we do it that way and reverse engineer that one then that one will say s and that one will say l so we need to make sure that the pointy bit of the top of the leg is on the inside and that way then you do right sides together and that one one and right sides together on the other it should fit 
pin them together and sew. So once you sew your arms, hands, feet and legs, that's what that bit should look like. So the next section is the cut the cut to one reverse in the tail. Um, so uh, let's just get that right. That's the reverse one. So that's the right one. So that's the one. That's the reverse, and then you obviously sew them. So that will be right size together. So you sew them all the way around, just like you did the ears, leaving this top section open. So that's your tail part. Because it's such a small piece and it's not going to require stuffing, I should pink before you turn it over, just to make it turn over a bit better in the shape. Uh, if you're using a thick fabric like this. And then pull it through. Might take a few minutes, so we'll come back. There you go, it's not very big once you've done the quarter and into seam. Use a pointy tool to get it into shape, and that's it done. So then we need to do the back, and it's cut to one reverse. That's it on the right on that side, and then if you reverse this, that's it on that side. So therefore, you do that and um, sew it down the centre back but before you do that the instructions say to put the tail in at the same time if you look on the tail you've got i and j if you look on the back you've got i and j so therefore if you put it on the shape you must get the shape right i should have your tail going up or down the wrong way um, it's obviously that way because that's the point at the top look so this bit here is I so this top bit here is I so if I is there then put I there and J is the bottom so I pin it there and that way when you do right sides together that way or sandwiching it in between there and you know you've got it in the right place so just pin all together and sew and we should have the tail going up and it is so there's your tail and your back piece together bottom legs Cut to one reverse. Um, she says on her website to sew S and K together. So obviously, there's the one that's right with the pattern, and there's the reverse one. Uh, on the back pattern, there's S, there's K, so that'll be S, that'll be K. So just sew them. Uh, See, so on a fleece, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it that way. Uh, no, I'm going to do it that way. So that'd be my right size, right? So therefore, it just it's the same S and K. What she says on the screen is: say bottom leg, uh, centre seam together from points S and K. So that's points S and K. So do that, and then we'll come. And that's how the bottom legs should be. So take your bottom legs, which you've just sewn together between S and K, that's those, and then that's your one, that's your bottom with your tail in, so that's the back, or the bottom, right sides together, and just sew them together like that, from one side to the other side, and obviously you've got two seams, make sure the seams match up. So it's got continuity, so it continues around the other side and pin and sew. Quarter inch. Once you've sewn those together, turn it through just to make sure your seam's right. And then go to look spot on, straight across. That looks absolutely fine. Yep, everything's caught. So 
and there's your bottom legs and your bottom so once they're stuffed they'll be so basically sitting like that and this is his and there's his tail sitting out at the back there you go so that so far so good so next we do the arm back it's cut two and one reverse to the back that we've already sewn but this is one with the tail in so if you look if you put your pattern because obviously we sew it and let's do it right size together it might make it easier for you so if we do right size together then that should be the pattern should be laid on that way because that's the shape um, obviously then when you turn this over this side is a reverse uh, if we do that's the top and then if we do the reverse that's the if you can see that we just take you up a bit so you can get both in that's the arm back and if you do the reverse then you know you've got your, these arms up the right place and obviously arms go up not down so that's the right shape so obviously you do M and N to M and N so if you move this round this way because this is right side of the pattern's up right side of the pattern's up if you add them this way then you would have them there like that so we do right sides together between M and M so that's that top bit there to that bottom section now for some reason mine isn't as wide so because it's on a curve you have to ease it in again so I'm going to put a pin obviously from the top we don't need a pin we need a pin where N is so from there to there And then I need to fit this in, right sides together. So if I pin that, let's see if this works together. If I pin that there, take this down to there, and pin that in the same place. Then obviously, then you obviously have to pull this. And pin it to make it fit together and that must make the arm go in a certain way so if you see that when we put the arm that way the arms going up so let's just double check this that way that pattern is definitely shorter on this one longer on that one so you must have to force that into there obviously this then goes again and what I need to do is mark the pattern at the top is M and just here is N so I try and fit it to make it look the same so just there is N so I pin at the top there that's M Pin on N, use another pin so I don't lose the marker, and then stretch and make that fit in, or as best you can, because if you're using cotton obviously it's not going to stretch. go so then sew a quarter of an inch down both sides and that's what that should now look like you've got a complete curve going all the way around there there's the bottom that sticks out with the tail and the legs at the bottom right putting it together wasn't easy on your feet, I'm not going to put the feet in yet, but this is how I try to work out the leg and where the feet would go. You've got Q and R. So once you've got your right shape, obviously it's, it only goes one way, then put a pin in Q and R. When you look at the bottom of your leg, that's the bottom of legs, so you've got R and Q. 
so therefore that would go Q and R so that way so if you get your bottom of your leg which is which is this one this shape then obviously that's Q or in this case R and Q so I'll turn that one over so that's R and Q so that would be that way so that's Q and R and I'd want it that way so then you'd pull that apart fit that on that seam with the um, one of the Q's and R's, fit this on this seam with the Q and R and then pull them apart and fit them in and that to me looks dead right when you pull them apart you can see that they are going to fit like that okay so therefore these legs start at this seam so pin your leg either side of the foot seam work your way uh, then pin your crotch so obviously that's your belly and your backside coming together is the crotch in between the legs then once you've done that pin that side that side that side that side and your crotch then they go in perfectly that goes in on the inside leg perfectly then obviously then you've got to go up to the next seam which is your arm on on every article of clothing that you wear all the seams go uh, obviously your arm on uh, uh, meet underneath there then that one goes in okay so that's obviously the belly or the side your waist then obviously then you put you've got your your hands will be the same shape as the one underneath so just put a few pins around the hands there then you'll see that you will have to stretch and I can understand now why she, yeah, this is fleece you have to stretch that in from the top of the hands to the arm or edge to get all that in then you come to the shoulder seam we're not so in the head but obviously it comes into a point there and it comes into a point there so obviously the two points go together and that's the shoulder seam and then whatever you've got between there and there you'll have to stretch slightly so you do the same this side once you've put that seam once you put this on that seam then go up to your arm hole and do that and then whatever you've got in between will have to stretch let me just check this seam right that seam goes together that seam goes together so from there to there this is the bottom of the foot that's the bottom of the leg this is the bottom of the foot so then you have to stretch whatever you've got in between them two seams then this is the waist just check yeah that's the waist so that's the opposite side of what we've just done in between them two seams you'll have to stretch and pin and then put your other hand together as best you can because it's all the same it should be the same shape in a few places and then what you've got between that seam and up the top of your hand you'll have to stretch and what you've got between your shoulder and the hands you'll have to stretch together that's the way i see it being done that's your back side that's your head that's your legs and that's what it should all look like as far as I'm aware so there you go that's what I think it should look like and it should be 
obviously you use sew from one shoulder seam all the way around your arm, down your waist and down the leg to the top of your foot. And then you can sew, sew from your foot up to your waist, past your waist, uh, under your arm, around your hand and arm, up to your next shoulder seam. There is no instructions to doing this. I only worked it out by how much do I need to put that foot in there and I understand why I should have done it in fleece if you have to stretch things together. And to me it makes sense that if you've got a shoulder seam then you obviously need to put the other I assume is a shoulder seam there. And that's the size of the head which makes sense with the size of that head I think. So anyway that's what I'm going to do. I hope that makes a little bit of sense and it's helped you out a bit. We'll sew it together and see where we come. Now I'm starting on the inside leg to go up to the crutch to come round to the other side of the leg. End it on the sewing line. Right, make sure all the neat pins are out and then we need to turn it just to make sure that we've caught all the seams. It so the next thing to do then, once we've got this far, we've done the body, done the head, is to finish the head off. I've done a couple, I've given him brown eyes and I've just put the buttons where you can see them just there. I've given them a black felt nose and put a line underneath and then with the mouth I've just pinched it up and then caught it at the back of the fabric. So, so basically now I'm quite happy with that. I've given him a mouth of sorts and then I suppose you have to stuff the head and stuff the body but we've got to do the feet. So the next job is the feet. So if you see at the bottom of the mouth, then you'll see where it's got a gap here. Now to me, that looks as if it's supposed to be together and that's just supposed to be one big circle. So if you turn your head back out and I'm going to sew mine together, just up to the, and just join it, just join that bit there and then it just leaves the circle to you. So there it is joined together just there, so I think that looks a lot better. So now we've got to put the feet on. This is the bottom, so that's his back side basically that we're looking at. And we sewed the legs together that way, if you remember. So if you've got the bottom, that's Q, that's R, then on the feet, that's Q, that's R. So, that's the reverse, and this is the front, so that would be the reverse that way, and this is the front. So get the, where it, it get your feet, because I'll, I'll probably do, I'll, I think that's a slightly different shape. So if you did reverse, it's a different shape. So then I've marked 
where it says R there and Q and I've put pins in so I know where R and Q is. There's R and Q so therefore you just slide that up like that that's got to go that way so therefore it's got to go so to me it should fit where Q and R on the seam so pinpoint the seam with your pin and pin it in find the seam this side and pin it over then that then should go around there and it does and then that there should go around there and it does and then sew a quarter an inch seam all the way around right so that's the first one in and that went round absolutely fine uh, then obviously this is the reverse side so therefore that is the reverse side uh, we know that R and Q is hang on a minute yeah yeah so if I turn them over that'd be Q and R so therefore mine goes that way and again I put the pins in to say where Q and R are and then obviously then you just lift this up and put that in putting the pin on that seam that side again And then putting this pin on. Hang on a minute. Let's just have a quick look at that again. Let's put that back in there. Yep. So it's that pin that side, and that pin that side. and then ease it all in all the way around that way and then that way and so pin it all, up, all in and then sew it quarter of an inch once you've sewn them on then pull it through so you can check as you can see my seam didn't quite match um, on that one but on these it has look on that side it did and on this side it did so you have to be very careful about your seams obviously that uh, needs to match up and that's where your Q and R come in handy um, so anyway they're in I've got no holes no gaps or nothing right we've done the head we've done our body and feet uh, it's all ready to go together now if you read Kelly's site then it says to stuff and then hand, sit, hand stitch the head on I don't like that idea I would rather undo all the back fit that in and then sew it like I've just done the feet the head and then stuff from the back and then hand sew the back up but I, I don't like the idea of sewing the head on to me I don't know that doesn't it's going all the way around trying to you got to stuff you got to stuff it all first so I don't like that idea. So if you're going to follow me, we'll see how successful this is, and I'll take you through it how it works. Obviously, I'm going to take it all the way through to make it more comfortable. So pull everything back through the wrong side again. Uh, find the back, which is here the flatter side because obviously the bigger size I think it's his belly and gone oh yeah that wherever his tail is that's the back so it is this side that I undo so whichever is where his tail is so undo that and then we'll see how we get on right if you're making a, a bag you have to, and you want to pull something out or sew something like across the top and then pull it out like a line and you have to do it right sides together so therefore this is the wrong side I've got the outside the body is the wrong side out so therefore you do the head the right side and push it in and obviously we've got the back out and so that's the front so put the nose at the front here 
so if we just show you them then you've got seams well where we sewed the chin together that's that little inch made this fit spot on so that's one seam then you've got the shoulder seams on either side and then you've got the seam where the back meets here with the back of the head now we've got to do a quarter of an inch on this so it's going to be like a Y seam where you allow you go over a quarter of an inch and then where your pin is is where it's going to be sewn up to and then you do the same this side and then you do you pin that where you're going to be sewing up to each other and then obviously then you're leaving yourself enough on the other side a quarter an inch seam to allow because you've left it up there so that to me comes across like a better and it actually fits all the way around perfectly and I think I'd rather stuff from the back than try and sew two stuffed peach pieces together so continue to pin making sure all your the right seams are together I think that that's the top of the arm so is that going to go well it wants to fit that way so I'm going to assume it's that seam there soon find out if I've gone wrong I'll have to wonder it all so basically I'm practicing and you're learning from me what's right and wrong. It just fits where it goes, put all the seams together that go together and then sew it. I'm going to take my arm off. I'll move this on the machine and do it a quarter of an inch all the way around and let's fingers crossed I'm going to do a large stitch. And there you go, I've pulled it through so that seems fine. Uh, that seems a little off. I'm not going to worry about it. Obviously, be careful of your seams and try. If you're using fabric, cotton, then it should be easier. But this stuff moves a lot. Now, I think this has gone right at the back. It seems to have. I can turn that over and uh, turn it over a little bit and sew it, hand sew it. I'd rather hand sew from the back than try and hand sew a old whole head on like that so i'm now i can i've got access to arms legs and everything i can now stuff it so there you go we're nearly there just stuffing and sewing the back up and we're done as you can see um i think i've stuffed in fairly well i might need just a bit there where it's creasing just there just a little bit more seems a little bit then but you have got to put a fair amount in that back side round here to make him sit up I think I need to put a little bit more there his belly seems full his nose seems full give him a smile and as you can see now you can push that in and I've got to hand sew that I should try and pin it first but I've pushed all that in and sew it but you have got to push a fair amount around this bottom bit so push towards the seams push towards the seams there and his hands are staying up when you move them so they are fairly well done i just want to just check this bit here where he's creased so I'm now on the back so i think i've so i pushed a little bit more down into his groin area um I'm quite happy with that so now what you have to do then is pinch it together at the back as best you can you know you've already allowed a quarter of an inch for it um so pinch it together and pin and then you'll have to over sew it's the best way i think you can do it is over sewing it try and make it as neat as possible but unfortunately unless you're going to hand sew the head that's the the way i would prefer to do it and there she is all done mine's a female by the way 
as you can see I don't think I've done too bad a job it's like a bit like a ladder stitch um, so I think that one's uh, worked out absolutely fine all the way around there you go I'm very happy with that I am not an advanced sewer um, I call myself intermediate I'm not big enough but I'm not uh, I'm not really that clever as well as making my own patterns up or anything so I'm not advanced uh, but I'm happy with that attempt quite a chuff with myself don't know who I'm going to give it to yet but there you go so if you follow me read Caddy's blog follow the other girl that's also done one of these between the three of us you should be able to nail it do different things try different things you should be able to get there it is fiddly it's took me a couple of days over a couple of days takes a few quite a few hours but I think um, I think you'll be very pleased with yourself if you do happen to manage it and uh, but if you're giving it to a very very a baby very very young child uh, I wouldn't advise putting buttons on I'd over sew with black cotton or brown cotton and um, or whatever you wish to put on I mean you can if you've given this to an older child child you can do what Kelly's done and put proper eyes on stick them on or something like that but I'll use brown buttons because I haven't got no black and as he's orange I think I've got brown eyes so he's got brown eyes thank you for joining me I hope uh, you find this tutorial uh, useful and um, it helps you out on any tight spots that you might find if I've done um, mine worked absolutely fine I like the fact that I've utilized uh, stuffing it from the back and sewing the head on I don't didn't don't like the idea of uh, hand sewing the head that's me it's too big and awkward try and get your needle in and out so I'm far more comfortable with the fact that I've sewn that on and hand sewed the back thank you for joining me please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and come on back when you're notified of more videos thank you have a good day